I feel like followers are like it's like energy and money. You know how they say when you provide value, money comes by itself. Ah. Do you, know you take off all your boyfriend's pictures on Instagram? <laughs> That's the first question you were talking about. Ding ding. <laughs> Wow, TK. What yeah. happened? <laughs> um, Trouble in paradise, <laughs> dude. How much are you charging? Um. Oh, I can I can say that. Yeah, a um, thousand bucks. No, it's seven thousand. Jehovah is Lord. Uh, no. <laughs> Tell me this: If my girlfriend is spending time like eight hours at a, should I be worried? At the shop. Yeah. Eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. TK. Baby. <laughs> Hey, Who's going to tell him? <laughs> um, first of all, you should understand that your woman deserves real hair. Okay. Like, yeah. Real. And that you have to pay for <laughs> it. The most expensive one. So. Nita, why'd you get married at 20 years old? I was living a fairy tale. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I think many um, young women grew up with that ideal. Yeah. Like, he's an amazing host and host, and he's going to have many more amazing people on his show. And I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey. And you know, we never know how big this is going to get. So yeah. let's just see where you take this. Take this juice to an O, 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 O. All right. Kale, he took a mole. He took a mole, the pino. Then I learned what the taro. He better come in my rap. Visual, let me give a fellow. You better go turn a little tempo. You better go turn a calipo. This one I got to the end. 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 Yeah, end. Yeah. Gabs of party engage all the beautiful music of Nelly. Ah, oh, man, I love that track. Body on me. Ashanti is on it as well. And Akon, 806 is your time. You're on the Juice 2.0. I also gave you a track that was some very, very controversial track. Disco Inferno, 50 Cent. It was a lot of things shaking in that video. <laughs> Even I say so myself. But, 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 Gab City, B-Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. Good morning. Welcome to the Juice 2.0. Your favorite show. Now, on the count of three, Juicy. One. Okay, this time, this time I'm not getting disappointed. Are you threatening us? I'm firing, ev- I'm firing everyone <laughs> this time. <laughs> on the count of three, Juicy. One, two, three. Juicy. Juicy! Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So, thank you very much for stopping by. You're on the Juice 2.0. Uh, usually, we get to your comments first, but... Today, we'll do that in the middle of the show. But I just want to appreciate you for clicking like on the videos and uh, on the channel, subscribing, notification button, and sharing. You guys are amazing. We have recently reached 3.4, 4.4K subscribers in just a day. We had 1,000 subscribers in just a day. That's, that's, from, thurs- that's from Thursday Friday, Thursday and Friday. We got 1,300 subscribers. It was madness, madness. And I'm pretty sure it's going to get even crazier. But in the building, what, what, what? Are you, Thori, are you, are you getting us drinks at 10K? At 5K, we're getting drinks. All right. Cool. At 5K, <laughs> we're getting drinks. We got to get drinks. But tonight, we're also celebrating the other dude who's in the building who graduated, Tabs. Big shout out going out to Tabs. Yes, yes. But you know what? This morning, special guest in the building. We're talking hair, all things hair. Gentlemen, I say this early on in the show. Do we afford this hair? Do we not? Should we afford this hair? Should we not? And for the ladies, whenever, whenever you get that wig, do you even know how to install it? Who do you call when you want to install the wig? Because you know what? It's not the best installation sometimes. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> it's so expensive, but it's not looking the best way I want it to look. Who do you go? What happens in that situation? Today, this morning, I'm talking to this wonderful lady, beautiful lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Social media influencer. AB Beauty, the hair studio. That's the honor of owner of AB Beauty, the studio. And she's also um, a digital content creator. I need you to put your hands together and help me welcome some of B Dub's finest young ladies, Anita Baliki. Oh yeah. What's happening? Thank you for having me, TK. How you? Um, and first of all, good morning to everyone who decided to join us. Yep. Um, it's good to have you guys here. Oh, you're so well spoken. It's like good morning to everybody. It's up. Okay. Okay. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Good to see you. Yes. Thank uh, you for having me. The last time, the last time we we this is pretty much everything that happens on the Juice 2.0. The people that finally come to the Juice 2.0, mm-hmm. 
I have a history of with with them in terms of communicating and trying to get us, you know, having a chat. You know, uh, how long would you say we've been trying to do this? Um, has it been like two months, three months? Two or three months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first time you were very very busy as you're always. And then you say, you know what, I think I'm ready to to have a chat with you. And because of the things that were happening two, three days ago, I thought you were not going to come. <laughs> <It's like laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, everything has its timing um, yeah. and purpose. So when we first started talking, I, I don't think I really had um, a purpose to right. share information. But right now things have changed. There's yeah. things in motion. So... This is a good opportunity for me. I like that. Yes. I like that. You're a hair specialist, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. Because you own AB Beauty. That's a hair studio. Yes. And there's amazing things that are about to happen very, very soon where you will be teaching a few ladies how to install their wigs, yes. among other things that you'll be teaching them, right? Yes. Beautiful things. But we'll get to all those beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Do why you take off all your boyfriend's pictures on Instagram? <laughs> That's the first question you were talking about. Jing, jing. <laughs> Wow, TK. What happened? <laughs> um, Trouble in paradise? <laughs> <laughs> wow, like I wasn't expecting that. But anyway. Welcome to the G2.0. Um, I would like to say um, I would like to use my right of no speech. Uh, uh, <laughs> and privacy. Yeah, I'm pleading the fifth. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> I'm pleading the fifth. Um, but either way, um, I believe... Um, Yo, oh, you've put me on the spot, TK. Why? <laughs> no, we're in a transition. Um, to be honest and fair, we're in a transition. We're very good friends. Yeah. Um, but I do feel that um, bringing social media into your personal life is very risky. Dude. I experienced that the first time when I put my family... Um, like how I started on social media, I started as a like family blogger. Right. So I had my entire family on there and literally my personal business. Yeah. So when that doesn't work out, um, you have a ton of people who um, deserve closure because you're the one who, who's actually opened ah. um, that door for them. Ah. So um, I think it took me some time. I should have learned from the from first that. time. From that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, I think sometimes you need to like experience things again to realize that, okay this is not what I'm trying so to like do it's like a second chance but if it doesn't work maybe yeah. let's not do it again I think right. if I focus more on um, content that um, pays me or brings back to me builds my brand I would be in a more comfortable space yeah 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 because yeah. I heard from the rumors what rumors rumors was that ah man you broke up with the brother <laughs> Ah, uh, she. So the person who told me mm -hmm. was like, "Yo, bro, they broke up." This is what happens with you guys, public figures, yeah. right? Yeah. Whenever something happens, mm -hmm. ah, the the talk in the city, man, in the streets, it's like wildfire. Like it goes as quickly as wildfire to the next person, and the next person, yeah. to the next person. So the person who told me was like, "Yo, man, Anita and the boyfriend broke up. She bro apparently you broke up with him because mm -hmm. apparently he cheated." Ah, oh, guys. Apparently, guys. You know, you know one thing, and I, I, I want to speak on that. Yeah. Um, there is that thing where people will make up rumors um around people's lives. Yeah. And I find it very reckless because some of the things that people say. Yeah. Uh, can be believable. Yeah. Um, and can tarnish people's imagine, images. Imagine, imagine, yeah, um, yeah. It's very reckless, and I think. Um, just as human beings, it's important to have that social responsibility to yeah. say, um, if I don't know the facts, maybe let me not speak let on it. Let me not speak on it, yeah. That far, yeah. you know, because you will end up ruining people's lives. I've heard maybe 50 different stories of why I've got divorced, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Um, and now, I'm actually that, shocked. That, yeah, I'm that. shocked. And uh, to clear it up, um, he's an actually, like, he's a stellar gent. Stella, yeah. Stella gent. Yeah. Um, I believe that, um, yeah. He's, he's upstanding. You get, um, <laughs> there's nothing like cheating and all of that. Yeah. I don't think I meet men who are disloyal. But oh, I, dude, you're very, very lucky. <laughs> Blessed and highly favored. No, I, I believe that God's looking out for me in that respect. I like that. Um, yeah, but I, I always meet very loyal gents, even my exes. Yeah. I've never had to deal with that kind of issue. So if we're breaking up, it's really um, based off of fundamental issues yeah, and yeah. not like petty stuff because everyone can cheat at the, at the end of the day, you yeah, know? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm i lucky, I guess. Well, blessed. Blessed. Yes. Very, very blessed. Yeah. 813 is your time. She's in the building. AB Beauty's in the building. Hair specialists are in the building. Let's make some money. Our good friends at Choppies. And then we're back with more. Anita. All right, Lutlo, Anita Baliki, who you know on your Instagram as... 
Well, a lot of people still refer to me as one young mama. One young mama? Yeah, which I, is... I do, but you still are. Yeah, I still are a young mama, so... It warms my heart. It warms my heart. Dude, how old are you? I'm 26. 26? Right yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm no longer young mama. Like, I think that's another thing that made me switch up because I'm like, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> but 26, man. I mean, 26, guys. You're like, still young at heart. Young mama was still cool when I was like 21 and I was like, you know, uh-huh. with my baby. now and, and the new mom. Yeah, now he's a grown man. Like, yeah. I'm also like moving on with my life, so. Right, right. Yeah. How's your son? What's his name again? His name is Aiden. Aiden. And he is doing really well. How old is Aiden he's now? He's five years old. Oh, that's big. Big boys, yes, dude. Let's talk about hair. Okay. Yes. You're having this amazing thing that you are dubbing uh, Masterclass. What's the first? Wig yes. Installation Masterclass. Yes. It's happening soon. Why was it important for you to have that Masterclass? Um, I think for me, uh, I've been in the industry for three years now. Yeah. Um, and I believe that in everything that you do, you have to grow. There has to be like a next level. Right. Um, and this is my next level. Um, it turns out that it's it would be beneficial for uh, my clients or the everyday person. But mm-hmm. for me, it's the next level. I, I believe that I need to challenge myself um, and become a teacher, I yeah. guess. I would like to experience that kind of space um, and know that I can do it. I've actually always had like issues with public speaking oh. and stuff like that. So this is that year that I'm like putting myself in uncomfortable situations oh, so yeah. that I can grow. Yeah, I like that. And you can only just grow from uncomfortable situations. Definitely. I don't know why we run away from uncomfortable situations. Definitely. I, for one, have also kind of ran away from a few things that were uncomfortable. But after trying, you know, tapping my feet into it, it's like, oh, man, you can hey, do this. look at that. Yeah. So in your in your in your profile, mm-hmm. you wrote this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, okay, I lost it. But the pretty gist of it is that you've been approached by a lot of ladies, mm-hmm. right? Asking you, "Hey, to Anita, share. how do you how do you install a wig? Yes. How how do you do what what are some of the steps?" So, ladies are struggling with that. Yes. Um I think installation looks very easy when you're watching on YouTube because a lot of us or a lot of people see this on YouTube, yeah. on the internet, yeah. and we don't realize that um this is like Maybe a three hour process That's been cut into Like a 15 second clip ah. And it looks so easy Like everything looks So seamless and flawless And yeah. when you try To do it yourself You don't get the same results You mess it up Yeah Yeah So um, a lot of ladies um, Have realized that It's an actual skill um, That needs time to learn And practice Yeah So they have reached out And asked um, Teach me how to do this So it's it's easier for them To do it at home yeah. um, Touch up before work Stuff right, like that Right yeah. So speaking of skill Right This is something That you've obviously Acquired for yourself How long are we talking What kind of period Are you talking For your experience in this Um. Okay First of all I'm self-taught Whoa yes. High five Bluetooth that You know <laughs> yes. Nice bro I'm self-taught Um. I've always had a passion For hair From um, my varsity days Yeah Um. I think I actually started wearing frontals and full laces in like 2013, 2014. Whoa. Like that was light years Whoa. ago. Light years ago. And it's only now that um, these things have become popular. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I... Wait, I'm so sorry. What was the question? <laughs> the question <laughs> The question is, how long has it been that you would acquire this skill? Yeah, so I would say um, practicing on myself, Yeah. I would say it's been about... I'll say maybe since 2017. 2017. Yes. Um, so I don't know how long that makes it. Five years. And then on actual clients, it's been three years. Yeah. Since 2019. And how, how much clientele would you say you've garnered since those years? Um, A lot. A lot, yeah? Yeah, a lot. Um, I, I've met have a lot of wonderful women through what I do. Yeah. Um, And Botswana are very, very supportive, actually. All the time. Yes, they're very, very All supportive. All the time. I've met quite a number of ladies. Who are still loyal to my service? Um, yeah, yeah. So it's been amazing. So when you decide as Anita that you would have a masterclass, right? Mm-hmm. Are you worried that people would not pay for it per se? Because I understand when people, it's almost like a market research, right? When people come to you, it's like, "Yo, man, teach me how to do this." Then you find the demand, yeah. and then the market is there. Yeah. But then. Is there any concern that says, look, if I do this, will they actually pay to sit down at this place and listen to me? Of course, of course. Um, 
the thing is i feel like maybe it's um lack of information also and um it's my responsibility maybe to go the extra mile and yeah. inform people right. um wh- what goes into an actual masterclass yeah. because my current price point has been something that people have um complained about here and there you know <laughs> i've actually gotten questions or someone sending me a message saying they would rather go and like study somewhere at like an institution and get a certificate yeah. than to come and um, and get a wig installed by you yeah but it dude it, how much are you charging um oh i can i can say that yeah a thousand um, bucks no it's seven thousand jehovah is lord uh, no <laughs> no but um i understand the seven thousand would entail like a full start ticket like well my intention was to share a skill not to say just watch how i do it but i want to empower you to be able to either one start this as an actual business right, um, right. and i'd also be prepared to um supply you with with um stock um to continue Sheesh. and have a business that 7000 you could make back in like what three days so 7000 as an investment is it's really nothing but also guys so wait wait yeah. hold on you'll continue yeah there are ladies paying that for wig installation? No, oh no, that's not the installation. That's no, no. the class. No, no, no. The the installation. How much is that? Installations um go for six hundred. Ah, yeah. See, I was I was like, whoa, what's reasonable. what's what's going on? It's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's but reasonable. You how much do they charge? How much? How much do they charge it? Uh, like normal hair salons to install a wig. Um, I think what I've heard prices go between like three fifty to like. 400 450 I'm not sure Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're pretty much In the range there Yeah Yeah I think I have A fair, a very fair price Because yeah. I focus more On quality Than quantity Of course Of course yeah. And hair is very expensive By the way It is How much is the way That you got on right now Um, This would probably Cost you maybe 3.5 Yes. Not bad. City girls. <laughs> City and, girls. And how long does a wig <laughs> install like last on average? My installs um, will take you about two weeks with proper care. Um, and this is also why I realized the need for a masterclass because sometimes people don't know how to take care of their units. Mm-hmm. So you'll actually install someone. Maybe they come and spend, let's say they buy a wig from yeah. you. They spend the installation, maybe spend an average of like 5K in right. the store. They install that wig and then they don't know how to take care of it. Three days later, you walk by this person in the grocery store and either the wig is off or it just doesn't look the same. Mm -hmm. So I think the skill really needs to be in their hands so that they can actually experience the full value of the wig. So that's what you really focused on, the skill. Yeah. And I think think for a lot of what you say, this class will be very important for is women empowerment. That's very important to you, yes? And we also want, like I also want to see you know, hands looking really nice, you know. Yeah, I travel a lot and whenever I'm like outside of the country, I get a lot of compliments about my hair. Yeah. Um, I do think that I have a very different style to what is already existing in the market. Yeah, yeah. But I'd really like to see um, local girls also looking very, or looking their best. Yeah, They deserve it. They really deserve it. 823 is your time. We're talking all things here with Tutlo Anita Baliki who is in the building. Who has 45,000 followers on Instagram. How do you get to 45,000 followers on Instagram? Um, I like to think of... I did say earlier yeah. um, that I think that my growth has been quite slow. Um, and I would credit that to maybe personal changes and growth. Yeah. Um, maybe I haven't been as focused as I should, but that that will change. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like followers are like... It's like energy and money. You know how they say... When you provide value, money comes by itself. Ah. Do you get what I mean? Like right now you have this... You're um, teaching me something new today, yeah. You have this platform and you are... For, for the listeners, you provide some value, right? Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. is why you have that growth and right, right. Yeah, depending on what kind of topics you're bringing up, right. people would want to continue coming here. I like so that. I think it's the same thing with followers. The more value you bring to people, the more people you attract. I like that. Yeah. Well, it's still going to grow so much more. I'm pretty sure of it. But so much more conversation is coming up, lined up for you. For now, Francis Town, good morning. We're back with some DJ Snake. The track title, Middle in the Middle Town. <laughs> when it dropped, uh, there was a club in Gab City, uh, CBD, upstairs on uh, I Towers buildings there. Ah, oh, he used to be a jump. 
My parents were worried about me getting home at 4 a.m. all the time. Then I say, Mom, Dad, I got to move out. Because I got to leave the city boy life. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Do you remember those days? Which days? Those club, that, club uh, upstairs. I've uh, never actually, like, I've never been a club person. Well, locally. Cab, cab. I'm telling you, locally. So you're Joburg girl. I got married girl. very young. When did you get married to? I got married when I was 20. 20 years old? Yes. So I I never really experienced, like, that whole club yeah. phase. Yeah. So, Nita, why'd you get married at 20 years old? I was living a fairy tale. Yeah? Yeah, like I think many um, young women grew up with that ideal yeah. like scenario where they want to ha- have someone who takes care of them, loves them, yeah. starts a family. So that's the, the package that I got. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I think what you, who you are at 20 and who you are at 25. Two different people. Two different people, yeah. yeah. But at that time, yeah. it was everything that I could have asked for. I like that. And would then, you do it again? Like, if you could turn back time? Um, I mean, I would still marry the same person. Yeah? Um, uh, like, going with, like, the same... Like, what, how it how it went, our story. I yeah. would still marry the same person. Yeah. But I think I would have probably asked him to wait for me to, like, finish school. Like, get into my career. Uh-huh. Yeah. And just grow. And then we get married. Yeah. Uh-huh. How... Why did it end? <laughs> okay. You don't have to talk I feel, about it. I feel like I've, I've practically summarized it. Like yeah, um, she's not the same person. I'm not she the was same at person. Hold on, hold on. Also, it's also difficult to to grow um, yeah. alongside someone who's already grown. Ah. Um, you know, it, 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 it feels easier when you are both, or even when you are both in the same mindset. Um, yeah. And when someone is, is able to accommodate your growth. Right, yeah, right, yes. right, and right. Who I was at 20, like I said, at 20, I was willing to be a, a stay-at-home mom, you know. Uh, I didn't really have those set boundaries about my life and yeah. things that I wanted to pursue selfishly. Yes, yes, um, yes. For my own growth. And as I as I got older, um, you know when God puts something in you? Yeah. He'll continue to nudge you, you know, like, okay, this is not what you were meant for. Right, right. Yeah, you need to get out there. You need to serve your purpose. So, yeah, I learned more about myself. But unfortunately, it meant I could not continue the journey I was on. Sad, sad. Uh, it's, it's not a regrettable thing because yeah, you learn You learn something about... An but amazing you, experience. Yeah. yeah. You seem like a really sweet and kind person, man. I didn't see that from your Instagram. You know what? <laughs> Instagram is like, hey, baddies, baddies, baddies. <laughs> but when you're in the studio right now... And I'm having a conversation. It's like, oh, I could hug you and ah, we could just talk. Yeah, and she's so we could sweet. Just, she's so sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you get that a lot from your people or are you giving us something different in the studio? No, people who know me in real life, actually, like, I've had a lot of um, close friends asking me to, like, maybe go live more, like, interact more because yeah. I don't share a lot of my personality online. Right. Um, but this is just who I am. I think I... The, the, the most descriptive word that I always receive is yeah. that I'm a grateful person. I'm full of gratitude. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that vibe too. That yeah. energy is coming from you. Yeah. Dude, congratulations on the new house. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. I saw the post. I was like, yeah, you. you know what? Young ladies just doing amazing things. Yeah, I mean, as you grow and especially when you have kids yeah. or a kid, yeah. um, your life isn't about you anymore so you kind of have to do things that make <laughs> them comfortable of course yeah of course do you have kids i do i have a daughter okay how old? and i'm gonna pick her up right after the show no not after the show we have a shoot 12 maybe after lunch okay. uh she's six years old oh, her name is shamiso Aww. you're a dad that, city that, boy dad that dude that dude looks just like me <laughs> just like me i was like you couldn't look like your mama at least that's sweet. I mean I know I'm a handsome guy that's sweet. you know but that's sweet. come on that's you know? sweet. so maybe Zimbabwean jeans are strong <laughs> super <laughs> strong so Aiden is how old he's five ah oh, he's younger than my daughter yeah. but age doesn't matter who's kind to you know what I mean so Aiden one of those good days and Shamiso yes how many cows are we talking about we're talking about maybe seven cars mm. Did you say cars or cows? cows? Cows. Yeah. Hey, however oh, you many you want. Oh, you don't take cows? You want cars? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we take cars. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have to go speak to him. <laughs> 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 He's into like engineering stuff, so I think he'll make a plan. Like Lego toys are cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lego cars. Tell me about the difference between a wig and a weave. 
Um, okay. Major, major, terrible thing for for gentlemen mostly. Ladies are like, ah, we know that. But for gentlemen, it's like, it's baby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a wig. In my mind, I'm like, wait, which one? What, what is it? So please. So um, a weave would be. I don't know if you're familiar with um, the concept of like hair bundles, like nope. when they. Okay, so. Oh, oh wow! How do I explain this? <laughs> so what I'm, what I have on right now yeah. is a wig. That's so a wig. It's a it's a unit that if like I was to take off, it's yeah. gonna be intact. Like it's gonna be the wig. In a lace that yes. is so uh, like it's a whole that unit. Lace. Yes. Okay. So it's one thing altogether that I can put on and take off, right? Right. So a weave would be like um the hair at the back here mm-hmm. would be um detachable if I ah. should put it like that. Yeah. Okay. So even for like um weaves weaves are usually used for like sew ins. I don't know if you're familiar with the term where ladies will conro their hair and then the, the actual hair will be sewn onto it. So you can still detach it. But with this it's one unit. Ah. Yeah. I cannot have the back of the hair without the front. Sheesh. So weaves don't have closure. You can have the closure but the oh. the, the, the it's detachable Yeah right? The term is really used um, For how It's applied mm-hmm. Okay Yeah I feel like we're already At the master class <laughs> You know what I mean So which one is more expensive Than the other um, I believe they're the similar price because, yeah. um, or maybe what I could say is maybe a weave would be a cheaper option because it's like purchasing raw materials. I think ah. I should have explained it that way. Like yeah. a weave is like raw material for a wig. Mm-hmm. You can make a wig out of a weave. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I get you. Uh, uh, uh. It's the raw materials. It's I'll, like- I'll personally get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it easy Like you have the ingredients Right Let's uh-huh. say you're making Like um, Hmm TK I don't know Yeah Like a t-shirt Right 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 You have um, The fabric Yes The The needles And the threads Right Then you have the actual t-shirt Right ah. So a weave is like The fabric The 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 needles, needles and the, Separately and Separately Okay yeah, But okay. when you put it together You can still make I see that now way. So you're tying the, These little raw materials to, to to your head Yes Okay Yes I get that So I, I, I hope that was a So that's a, Yeah it, it is actually yeah. So that's a longer process A weave yeah Yes Tell yes. me this If my girlfriend is spending time Like eight hours at a Should I be worried At the shop Yeah Eight hours Eight hours yeah Okay Baby, <laughs> hey, who's baby. gonna tell him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's a who's gonna t- in the room now. <laughs> nah, eight hours. Um, eight hours is a lot. Um, you I see, I knew, I knew this. I knew. Nah, I'm just saying, kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> an installation would probably take you about two hours, two which hours. is what I was stressing earlier about the whole YouTube, Instagram thing. That you yeah. see a video that takes 15 seconds, not yeah. knowing that. The actual process takes you two hours or three hours. Right, right, yeah. right. What takes time though? Because like it's already a unit. What takes time? The edges. Yes, because okay, what happens is um, just us sitting here. We have different hairlines. Uh huh. Um, yeah, you don't want to see mine though. <laughs> <laughs> Gave up on me a long time ago. <laughs> we have different hairlines, and I always say if you go to like do your hair like a wig, and it takes like a very short, short time. Like you should have questions Yeah Because your hairline is very unique and specific to you mm-hmm. yeah. So what you need is a hairstylist that's going to customize um, We have a process called customization Dope. So that's customization to your hairline Yes mm. So I, I, I as your hairstylist have to look at your hairline Like you'll find some others have like a receding hairline So I have to balance I have to use the wig to balance it out Give Jeez. her a whole new look Without Putting it too much into her face, right, you right. Know, still giving her a natural mm. look. Some people have like maybe um, I don't know. Like for example, my hairline, I have um, my hair on my sides is grows further than the hair at the top. Oh, so I balance my hairline with my um, frontal. Mm-hmm. So that's the that's what takes a long time. It has to be specific and unique to you. Yeah, oh, I get yes. it. So what do what do a different question, but really uh, something that is relevant to this, because yeah. the brothers are always going to be involved in your hair stories, right? Yes. And wigs and weaves are not necessarily they are predominantly female, mm-hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean that there are no men that are trying to do this and that, right? Yes. But for a guy, what should we understand about hair? Your hair. As our ladies, what should we understand? Um, first of all, you should understand that your woman deserves real hair. Okay. Like, 
Yeah, real. and that you had to pay for <laughs> the it. most expensive one. <laughs> yeah, like it has to be real, you know. Um, yeah. It's it's luxury hair. It's like you know, copying her like a nice something at Gucci, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah like right, it has right. to be real so that also it provides her with longevity. Right. Um, and um, like for example, I provide raw hair, like I said earlier. Yeah. So the advantage about raw hair is that you can play around with the styling, you can play around with the coloring. The hair that I have on was once black. Um, oh, nice. And now it's blonde. Right, I can right. still color it red tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and it looks very real. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you just understand that the best for your woman, first of all. So, so, so that's so, the main concept. That's a, so yeah. for a lady who gets hair yeah. from a man, that's just like. Oh. It's a sweet gesture. It's like, yeah, daddy, you know what I like. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? What else? Like, is in the same comparison with hair, and you, whenever you get it for. Your woman, she feels like... I mean, obviously, women are different, right? But yeah. let's talk to you. I think with with a wig and what I've seen with maybe some gents that have come to purchase for their women. Because I do yeah. have that. We have surprise... Um, Packages. Yeah, like a man will come through and say, I want to surprise my hand. You know, nice. this is what she looks like. This is her favorite color. Dope. You know, she likes curly hair. She likes... So it, it shows that, first of all, he's attentive. Very sweet. Um, and he, he'll be able to give you like a scope. And I think for the women, it should be very sweet to know that you have a partner who understands you like that. That I'm a curly hair hand, I'm a straight hair hand. I like a cute bob, you know, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, right, right. so that's that's very. That's sweet. crazy, man. Eight forty is your time. We're talking all things hair, and who better to speak to us about it than Tlutlo Anita Baliki, who's in the building from AB Beauty. Also, amazing things that are happening. Masterclass, you should look out for. But for now, let's secure some money, 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 money. And then the last part of this conversation, please drop your comment. All right, drop it now. <laughs> all right, too much. All right, all right. As promised earlier on, earlier on, you want to say say something? It's cool. All right. As promised earlier on, YouTube comments. Let's check out what you've been saying on the YouTube channel with the recent videos. All right, I'll try to run them through as quickly as possible. All right, in just a few minutes. On the Tina, we get video. This one says, uh, Lydia Jeremiah. Hi, Lydia Jeremiah. Thank you very much for commenting. My favorite episode so far with the love emoji. Moving right along on the Tina Wigget video as well. Dark and lovely. How you doing, dark and lovely? Are you really dark and lovely? You possibly are. You, uh, you possibly are. The part where she defended this podcast, 100% claps, hands, emojis. I mean, if you think cringe at TK's questions, why watch the podcast anyway? Nah, I find it. Okay. All right. On the Hensi video, we have a Sean Euphony. What's happening, Sean Euphony? My brother, how you doing? This man's story is beautiful. Hensi is amazing. Beautiful dude, man. Talented dude. We had a conversation. One of my favorites, actually. And then we also need to... I've just been reminded that I need to celebrate Marang's video. It just reached 10K views just as of last night. Bum, 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 bum. Where are the horns when you need them? Moving right along. Thank you, by the way. That's amazing. And then Wayne, the maestro, on the Tina Wigger video says, 10K subs real soon. Thank you so much, man. And then fire emojis all over the place. And then on the Tina Wigger video as well, Sean Euphony is back and he says, dang, this was fun. Fire emojis. And then on the Marang video, I have a chat with Huizi. A chat with Huizi. How you doing? Thank you very much for doing that thing with your fingers and commenting. You really just said a grounded girly. Marang is really a grounded girly. And then on the Emma Warriors video, we have a Tapelo Moetze who just gave us love emojis. Who else? Who else? Who else? On a Tina Wigga video, Charlotte Maribe. Thank you so much, Charlotte. You say shout out to the girl. She went in hard and got honest. And now that's a real podcast. Uh, shout out to you, TK. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. And then CD So Bahule on the Tina Wigget video. You say content, content. Let's grow this channel. SO to TK. You guys are amazing. There's so many of them, but let's just one more, one more, one more, right? Vicky Nsebe. Uh, where is it? Where is it? All right, I lost it. What is happening with my eyes? Oh. Uh, is it me or she has a very ah, uh, jo? 
Tla kiska na judgest. Jesus didn't hire me. <laughs> but it's a lot of comments on that video. It's a lot of comments on Marang's video. It's a lot of comments on uh, Emma Warrior's video. It's a lot of comments on all our videos. The content that we are bringing out to you from the studio out to you. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your subscription. You're a part of the family now. Don't you dare leave this. Don't you dare leave this family. What you can do is call everybody else and come be siblings in the Juice 2.0 family. Okay? Okay. Far as Cardi B out of said, okay. But I'm not. Offset. All right. The thing is, you already did. I already did. <laughs> but we're back with Miss Baliki Ghani Tutlo, your favorite Instagrammers. Dude, are you a baddie baddie? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I got a definition from yes. Tina Wigge, what a baddie is. Yeah, it's what is actually, what's your definition? Of a baddie? Yeah. Hey, shh, every time I get asked this question, I actually really don't know, man. Yeah. I just feel like a baddie is like, you got to be hot. <laughs> That's what, it, you know, hot. You hot and smart. Hot and smart? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you look moneyed up from wherever you're getting it from. You know, hustle, <laughs> businesses, I you mean, know. I mean, sometimes rich boyfriend. style is inexpensive, you know. Style is yeah. inexpensive sometimes, Just yeah. if you know how to look good in something, you know, throw pieces together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, that's what I, I don't know, man. What is a baddie to you, dude? Like, no, I agree. Yeah. You know, I'd say you look good. Yeah. You look right. really good. Yeah. I, I believe the term is voluptuous. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> not that much. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. No, but I think someone just, that just takes um, themselves seriously and takes care of themselves um, shows the best sides of themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think then you're bad. You're real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Yeah. So how is your DMs, bro? Like your Instagram DMs. What are the brothers saying, you man? Know, I think, um, yeah, I'm the worst. Because now when you take down your brothers, your, your boyfriend's pictures down, the brothers was like, thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Finally, my prayers. It's so funny. They should ask the rest of the ones who thought they could do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they got curved. Yeah, no, I actually don't interact um, via DMs. I only speak to women. Okay. Um, so a lot of um, DMs I've received in the past um, have really been one-sided conversations. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I genuinely believe, um, I don't like to meet people on the internet because you already have like this a preconceived notion of me, yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm not sure whether you're here to use true, me or true, true. yeah. So I need to protect my energy. Tell me about business, your hair business, and how successful it has been or not because of uh, social media. Um, has so social media helped you at all? Definitely, social media is my business. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I started my business on social media, right? And I used my personal platform as an, an avenue to advertise Dope. what it is that I do. Yeah. And I can confidently say maybe the first two years I was able to be an an influencer for my own business by myself. Right, right. Um, and it, it really helped like just me wearing my own hand, people wanting to buy it and then I can provide it right, on right. the other end. Right. Um, so it really helped. Social media, yeah, is my entire business. I'm nothing without social media. Yeah. And also people in the beauty space I think one thing we all know is that you need to stay relevant and in people's faces. So if you want to continue having like consistent booking, stuff like that, you need to always be in people's faces, like showing them the hair, showing them installs and stuff. Yeah. Yes. But I, I feel like I haven't been like on my game. You did say. You did yeah, say. Yeah, because um, also I have my loyal clients and there is like as so much that I can take. I've recently um, hired more people to help me. Ooh. So that I'm able to maybe take more uh, yeah. people, yeah. So you're an employer. Yes, Kudos sir. to you, man. Thank big you. shout I've out. I've been That's, an employer for the past three years. That's big moves, yeah. dude. How is it for, for a 26-year-old young lady to employ people? Is it uh, What are the challenges there? Um, I think one thing we've, like a universal problem is yeah. just like retention. Yeah. Um, but I've learned that. Um, okay, so I like to read and like um, listen to podcasts and yeah. information. Yeah. But one thing I learned was that you don't actually have like problems that can never go away. If you have a problem, it's just important to find as much information you can around ah. surrounding your problem. So I listen to a lot of people like Gary Vee. Um, Ooh. 
Yeah, I listen to, or I read a lot of books around people management and yeah. what people want to hear. Right, right. Um, and it, I think it's helped me um, be able to communicate to people better, understanding that a, your employees not, well, they're not just there to work for you. They're an actual person who has their own life to fulfill. Yes. So even as an employer, I need to figure out where I fit into their personal growth for me to be valuable to them as well. That's 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 deep, man. Yeah. That's deep. You're would, smart. You're smart, smart. I, th- I think so. You're smart, smart. I think so. Too. Yeah, you. She's smart, smart. She is. She I was is. like, yeah, 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 I could listen to that. You know, oh. some some real n- nice nuggets, dude. How was Istanbul? Istanbul. It was good. It was much when, needed. When was this again? It Two months in ago. May. In May. Yeah, May. You went to Istanbul. Istan- Istanbul. Istanbul. Yes. Istanbul. It was an amazing experience. What'd you go there for? Um, I went first of all for vacation. Dope. It was like vacay and like I had like a little mommy makeover thing. Ah, yeah, that's dope. How is Istanbul? It's it's beautiful. Like the people there are very kind. Yeah. Um, they would call me Rihanna wherever I went because I had oh. these long braids. Oh. Like I was I was the it girl. I was like, wow, well, <laughs> I could live here. Right. right. I'm not <laughs> actually, going back. Yeah, I actually like thought about if I opened a salon and because I know how to braid. It's just that I don't prefer to. Um, it's cheap to braid. Like you don't get paid to braid in like local spaces. Oh, okay. But when you're outside overseas, you can charge like maybe six hundred dollars yeah. to braid someone. That's six k. I would do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, it was a very good experience. I saw the pictures. Oh man, you guys were looking amazing. Thank you. Thank it's you. it's it's those pretty things that you just look at and you're like, yeah, man. You know, I'm living my best life. Thank you. Ain't um, no gold. You know, <laughs> living my life like it's golden. Yeah, that's old school. Old school. <laughs> it's important to maybe also just expose yourself to different things from yeah. time to time. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciated the exposure more than anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean. One thing I did see, they like there's this um, shopping place called Galata Tower. Mm-hmm. It's like a, I would say maybe three kilometers worth of road, Ooh. where it's just shops. Whoa! Outside, yeah, and uh, apparently pre-COVID, over 3.1 million would walk people would walk past that road every day, like shopping. 3.1 million people. That's over our population. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Um, and it was interesting to see how these people have. Um, Elevated their ways of thinking. Like you have professional beggars, people who live in big houses, who would go there just to beg because they know 3.1 million people passing there. If enough people give you a hundred blood, to bro, bula, bro, it's enough to pay your rent. It's a lot, like, yeah. Pay your car, yeah. Car payment, whatever it is, yeah. yeah. So it was interesting to see how, how, um, yeah, people think outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you you could have people just come and play music there, and people gather, give them money. So it was interesting. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, what what's the next destination? This one is not going to be a vacation anyway, because well. yeah, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my next destination. I would really love to go to Ghana this ah. this December. Shayo. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm trying to figure it out. This December. Yes. Is that where Ghani comes? From? comes from you love Ghana <laughs> oh, oh that's, that was nice unrelated. no that's my surname oh yeah that's my maiden name your maiden name yes oh, oh nice right. what is that what's that origin um well my grandfather was Pakistani slash Indian no kidding yeah so that's my maiden name it's not a yeah. original Botswana surname yeah, yeah. I, I see that. I see that. I see that Indian ish yeah. Pakistani. You know, yeah, you know. My family has that trait more. I, I'm actually the most Donna looking person. For real. Yeah. It's the eyes, right? It's the it's eyes. The eyes. It's the mm. eyes. Thank you. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 we're about to let you go, right? Okay. All the best with the master class that's coming up. Thank you. Yes, you deserve whatever good things is coming your way because you. you're such a hard worker. Thank you. Such a hard worker. But what would you say to all those wonderful ladies that were listening to you today and the brothers that were also involved in this conversation about hair for their ladies? What would be your last words uh, to them? Ooh. I mean, okay, last night, funny enough, yeah. um, I had a conversation with two young women yeah. who were just telling me about 
um, they were asking me what my biggest challenges have been. They were actually telling me they're looking forward to listening. I hope you guys are awake. Big shout out, big shout out. Last night was a jump. I hope you woke up. Who, are, this. This, who are these young ladies? Um, uh, Wow. Her, um, one of them, her name is Tlotlo, like me. Uh-huh. And I think her, the other one's name is Nelly. Dope. Big yes. shout out to Tlo and um, Nelly. But I met them randomly and they asked, they just wanted to ask me like what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. And they were like, are you ready for TK's question? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should stop. You guys should stop. <laughs> that's your brand now. <laughs> you guys should no, that's stop. definitely his brand. Uh. Um, but yeah, so they were just... No, it's not. <laughs> just asking me about like the biggest challenges that I've had yeah. and I was just telling them that um, I think for me personally especially with social media the, the thing I was telling you earlier about how people make their own narratives yeah. it's very dangerous um, when I first started working I know there were many narratives going around the biggest one that made me really like it broke my heart a little um, I remember I heard a rumor that my store was opened by my ex-husband oh. um, and it was a way for him to launder money um, Are you serious? Yeah, it was just the front. Like, I was just, I just go and order wigs and just, you know, put outlandish prices hey, on people there. people some movie you type know, stuff, yeah. huh? Yeah, and at that time, I was just sitting there, like, my fingers were bleeding from, like, needles, you know, I'm putting these wigs together. You're really working I'm, I'm hard. I'm them yeah. and I'm putting my heart in them. And it was just so crazy to see how um, people could assume something so simple that could take away the value from what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 but yeah. also one thing that it taught me was um, you you have to stop thinking that people care. I, I'm so sorry. People will support you, but I mean, just for yourself and for your own focus, you need to I stop I think you're preaching to me too. You're preaching to me too. people care about yeah. your craft in the way that you would care about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was telling them that, because um, one of them was telling me she she's a lash tech and she just doesn't trust her work that much. You know, she's afraid of what people would say and all yeah, of that. Yeah. And I said, you know, the one thing that's helped me and I think that's continuing to help me um, move past like hurdles and things. Yeah. I like to consider myself as a grain of salt in the whole scheme of things. Mm. Like I, I might be good at my craft, but I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the best in Botswana. I'm, you know, yeah. main character yeah. energy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because there are so many other people who do, who are in this game. Yeah. I look at, um, other women in the UK, US, South Africa who are like in this game and they're pushing yeah. and we're all doing there's so much inspiration from what they do for me to feel so big headed about myself and not not be able to invest all that I have in it yeah. you get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Whatever I do for my brand um, I need to really stay humble Think like in that thinking of that I am like a grain of salt in this whole thing so whatever I do will only make um, or bring positive back to me, but I shouldn't think about what people think about me. I don't know if I'm it, it makes a whole lot of sense. sense. Yes. It makes a whole lot yes. of sense. It's really you against you, especially yeah. when it comes to business. It's you against you, because even if I was to close my shop tomorrow, people will find somewhere else to do their hair. Of course, yeah. like of course. period. Like yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't for one on. second think if yeah, yeah. I close my shop, people are gonna cry. And, and people like, do that. Please come people back. move on yeah, so they quickly. Really move on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really for you. You're doing it for yourself. Oh man, you preaching to me, man. You really preaching to me. And we thank you so much. Often. We really need to. Yeah. We really need to. Can we have a part two somewhere Definitely. out there and just chill? In a more chilled location. And drink. Okay, Hennessy though. Like the champions that we are. <laughs> Hey, but 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 I appreciate you so much. I feel like I know you now, you know? I feel like I've been introduced to you. I didn't I thought I had an idea of who you are. Well, of course, social media it is what it is. Yeah. I thought I had an idea of who you are, but today you've been introduced to me and by extension to the listener who is listening to you now. Mm -hmm. You're quite the wholesome young lady that you. you know, just listening to you, you're wholesome, you're smart. You seem you seem grounded, you know, yeah. and you exude a whole lot of you know spirit, you know, and gratefulness as well. So I really, really, really appreciate your time and just you sharing that with us mm -hmm. and letting us, you know, be a part of who you are. I feel like you I'm blessed literally <laughs> to have to have had a chat with Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. So all the best with everything, all the best in your business. Thank you very much for schooling us on here. Mm -hmm. Wigs and Anytime. wigs. I'm hoping Masterclass buy. is coming soon. Masterclass is coming soon. <laughs> we hope, gentlemen, to buy our ladies because apparently that's the right thing to do. Yes. yes. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Until next time we speak. Thank you, TK. And you're amazing at what you do. All ah. the best with your platform as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you.
One time. That's Tutlo Anita Baliki. Oh man, beautiful conversation. And that's just how we wrap it. Thank you very much for stopping by with Juice 2.0. My name is TK, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. every Saturdays and Sundays. So if you're like, oh, I just tuned in now, don't worry about it. Tomorrow you can you can chill with your boy. My name is Mr. TK, Mr. 2.0, and I'm out. Peace. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.